that V and I were at a zoo with a lot of sheep right now. Because earlier today, V mentioned, Dustin, we're going to go to a zoo and the that. It's truly a sight to see. So V just mentioned it's a sight to see. So a sight to see is something that you like. Because here it's, you know, for me, I have a thing for animals. And V, do you have a thing for animals or do you have a thing for zoos? Uh, what do you mean a thing for something? Is like a negative or a positive way to express so something? So to have a thing for something, that could be a craving. A thing for something is something you're interested in. If you don't have a thing for it, maybe you're not interested in it. For me, I have a thing for animals. Yeah, I pretty like spending a day here. Oh, I love touching at them. <laughs> but they don't like you, V. They don't like you. They only like you when you have food. You have to get food. You need to feed them. Oh. Okay, sheep boys! Sheep boys, and come! And come! And come! And come! Lade, come here! Oh. Okay, that's one piece. One piece. Wow. Hey, Dustin. What? <laughs> Do you know that this is one of the cutest animals in the world? Oh, I love them so much! Hey, hey, once in a lifetime, take me a picture. Are you serious right now? Some owl? Yes, please. V, you have to understand, there's maybe three types of travelers. One, like the foodie, they love traveling for food. Then you get the adventure seekers, the people who love nature. And then you, some owl. Hey, Dustin, here's an animal. Take a selfie, okay, five minutes. Oh. God, you don't get the picture, V. I, I told you to take me my pictures, not get the picture or anything. No, to, to get the picture is to understand what I'm saying. Give me your phone. Let's do this fast. You oh. really don't get the picture. You don't right, understand hurry up, hurry what up. I'm saying. I really need cute pictures to post on Facebook. Yeah, I know. You're going to post on Thousands Facebook. Thousands like are coming. Post on Instagram, post on Zalo. Okay. All right. A lot. It took a lot. Here, we're done. V, here, food. He took his selfie. Come yeah, sell. I'm done. Andy. Hey, Justin. Um, one more picture. V, I am sick and tired of this. You know, you're wearing me out all day. We plan to come to the zoo. You know, we've traveled a long distance to get here and now you're just wanting pictures. So I just mentioned the V, sick and tired of, it means you're annoyed with something, and you're wearing me out, that means you're making me tired. But taking pictures is just a part of the journey. We have just fed the animals and now take pictures. This isn't just taking pictures, V, this is, hey Dustin, a new animal, selfie, selfie, okay, next animal, selfie, selfie, that's different. You are a big cry baby, and I, if I'm you don't cry stop, baby. if you don't stop whining, then I will show you the door right away. So V just mentioned, I'll show you the door. That's usually used for inside, but it's asking someone to leave or you're going to have them leave. You know, earlier we talked about going camping and that's something I think we've already discussed and we planned. And you know, I'm, I'm really pumped. I'm super excited for this. Ah, uh, just because you don't want to take pictures for me and then we go camping. So Aww. we're going to say goodbye to the kangaroos and the I'm wallabies. Miss you. And we're going to leave because V, I don't want to take pictures anymore. Let's go do something else. To show somebody the door. You're not actually showing someone what a door looks like, but you're asking them to leave. So for example, V came to California and is visiting my family. And maybe V is very, very inappropriate. And my parents are like, V, if you don't stop, I'm gonna have to show you the door. So ask her to leave. <laughs> 